don't try and teach me nutrition if you are obese or morbidly obese. It is not going to happen. Anyway, so this is a clip from the interview. The interviewer, David Campbell, who actually went vegan and lost a ton of weight soon after, put me right on the spot. Okay, Freely, do you believe that people should take your advice? as, as uh, or, or should they take it as you being a professional or just take it as you being like, hey, I'm just putting this out there? So I have conventional certification in nutrition, but... You have to understand, I have been at this for a very long time. Studying nutrition non-stop since I was in my late teens. And that's why I have the healthy results that I do. Because I didn't stop until I found the answer. So let's get on to my lies on national TV. Hey, I'm Freely, the women's weight loss expert here on YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. So today I want to briefly talk about the qualifications I have received, the certification I have received in the areas of nutrition and fitness, and why I lied on national TV about where I studied back in 2016. I also want to talk about series that I'm going to do on this channel and why I called it what I did and why I started the channel in general. So as far as series go, I'm definitely going to keep doing the everything wrong with such and such as diet because there is so much misinformation on YouTube and it needs to be counteracted, that's for sure. And something that has just come, in, come to me recently, a good idea for a series, is actually critiquing these dietitians like Abby Sharp and these doctors like Dr. Mike on their recommendations, their critiques of other people's diet, and actually pointing out the hypocrisy and also their dangerous advice. It is just, it blows my mind. So if you want to see that, definitely stay tuned for that because you know Abby Sharp has basically just copied my format of critiquing what I eat in a day video. So she's giving advice on that and I'm going to give advice on her advice, if that makes sense. So let me know in the comments if you want to see that. And also another series idea is addressing people's rumors and um, just stories and myths and lies and assumptions about me. You all know there is a bunch of them on the internet because I have basically popularized popularized um, veganism on the internet. So there's a lot of people who want to have their say about freely and misrepresent me quite badly. So again, let me know if you want to see that series. So just quickly, I started this new channel, not because I really want to, because I want to stay on my main channel, but YouTube's new algorithm, new AI, artificial intelligence, is just suppressing my videos like crazy on my main channel. They're just not getting suggested to anyone. My analytics prove it, that they're not getting suggested to anyone. And even my subscribers, only a fraction of my subscribers are actually being sent my videos. So I'm going to try and get around that by starting this new channel. And also I have an unsub bug where people are being unsubscribed up to eight times from my channel. This is since 2016 when they implemented this AI algorithm change. So that is one of the main reasons I started this channel. So as you can see, I call this channel Women's Weight Loss Expert. Is it because I am obsessed with weight loss? No, of course it's not. And you OG banana girls, you know that's not what I'm really about. You know I'm about health and well-being and ethics. I've always been about this. I'm always about helping you become your best, not about super th superficial things like weight loss. However, YouTube is literally this minefield of, you know, bad information of these ugly diets, you know, these keto diets and these recommendations from these meat and dairy shill dietitians and doctors. You know, it's so hard for women to find their way to a healthy, cruelty-free lifestyle. And that's why I need to counter this. So it may seem superficial or whatever, but it's about bringing in those women who are lost and don't know how to lose weight and get healthy for life. And I do know, you know, and that brings me to my next point of being an expert. Am I an expert in this field? Absolutely. After receiving hundreds of weight loss and health testimonials over the years, maybe thousands, you know, it's a lot if you look at all my comments. And in addition to my own weight loss results and keeping it off without caffeine, no calorie restriction, no excessive exercise, I think it's really safe to say that yes, weight loss is definitely one of my areas of expertise. I'm not going to hide the fact that I'm trying to attract women to veganism via weight loss. This is one of the major reasons that I came to this lifestyle and one of the major reasons that a lot of women come to this lifestyle. And now I'm ethical as fuck, as you know, and I will be vegan for life. And I'm very health conscious and I know how to help you feel your best for life on a vegan lifestyle. Like I said in my last video, this is like my life's work. Animal liberation and women li and female liberation is just like, this is why I'm here. This is why I do what I do. This is why I'm still on YouTube. 
because this is what I'm meant to do. You know, it's like, it's what gets me up in the morning and what it's what keeps me up at 3 a.m. thinking, writing notes is I desperately want to get you out of this merry-go-round cycle, this yo-yo weight, this semi-starvation dieting. And this is what I've been doing basically the whole time, educating on the whole time I've been on YouTube. And it's been over a decade that I have been on now. I want you to come and stay on this healthy, cruelty-free lifestyle. I'm not offering a quick fix though. And that's what a lot of people hate. They want the quick fix. A lot of women come here because they want, they come to Raw to Four because they want to just jump on another fad diet. They want those instant results. I can't give you that. I'm not going to promise you that. Okay. I'm not here to just take your money. I'm here to help you get actual results that you can maintain long term. I'm not going to show you how to starve short term so you can lose some water weight. You know, you can buy my book and lose some water weight and be happy for a month and then go back and find another diet. That's not what this is about. This is the end point. This is where you stop. You know, you have found the lifestyle that works where you can eat unlimited calories and still maintain a healthy weight and be happy and not hurt animals. So you have found the answer and you don't even have to do raw till four. You can do a smoothie in the morning and you can do cooked for lunch and dinner. You can even do cooked for breakfast, lunch and dinner. You can do high carb cooked vegan. I am supportive of this. However, if you want to go to the next level, you know it is raw till four, but I'm also supportive of cooked vegan. So let's get on to my lies on national TV. As a lot of you know, back in 2016, Raw to 4 went viral amongst young females on YouTube. And I was getting some great coverage on national TV in Australia. And one appearance, I had a debate with a dietitian. By the way, yes, I will be responding to that dietitian, Abby Sharp's critique of my diet. It's going to be interesting. Definitely subscribe if you want to see that because that is definitely coming up. And I'm sure a lot of you have noticed that this meat and dairy pushing dietitian Abby Sharp has been suggested everywhere amongst the vegan community. Absolutely everywhere because she did some sneaky SEO, some search engine optimization where she basically, basically attached herself to me to the search term freely and raw to four. So she got way more, you know, exposure by doing that and by doing similar videos to me. And like, I think her most popular videos are actually on me. So yes, I will be responding to her. Anyway, so this is a clip from the interview. The interviewer, David Campbell, who actually went vegan and lost a ton of weight soon after, put me right on the spot. Okay, Freely, do you believe that people should take your advice as, as uh, or, or should they take it as you being a professional or just take it as you being like, hey, I'm just putting this out there? So I have conventional certification in nutrition, but I don't use that training at all anymore because it's so heavily funded by the meat and dairy industry that the information is just incorrect. What certification so do you have, Freely? So I have certification in nutrition, so advanced, advanced From certification. Where? from the Australian Institute of Fitness. Okay. So, so I obviously had to think for a moment. He just put me on the spot with a question. I'm just like, well, and you will know, remember I'm on national TV. This is live. It is intense. Okay. For anyone who has ever done it, they will understand it is, it is intense. And you will notice in the interview, I, I looked a little bit unsure of where I studied when I said Australian Institute of Fitness. And the reason that I was unsure is because it was 11 years earlier. It was a long time before and rightfully so the dean of that institute came out and said that i had never studied there and he was right i hadn't studied there i was meant to say the fitness institute of australia so i think most people can grasp the fact that it is very easy to say the australian institute of fitness instead of the fitness institute of australia because they are so similar so a lot of people find me threatening, so they're always looking for ways to discredit me. So a lot of people have been spreading around everywhere that I'm a fraud, that I never study nutrition and fitness at all. So the reason that I didn't refute it at the time is because my certificates were actually at my mum's place. Okay, my certificates were at my mum's place and I could not get hold of them at the time because we don't live together. You know, so I eventually got them off my mum and that's why I'm going to show you today. But before this, back in 2000, yes, 19 years ago, some of you would not have even been born. I was like 20 and I was so passionate about nutrition and I actually wanted to become a dietitian. You have to understand, I have been at this for a very long time, studying nutrition nonstop since I was in my late teens. And that's why I have the healthy results that I do, because I didn't stop until I found the answer. 
And I knew it wasn't in some industry funded, government sponsored course. So I enrolled in college and was doing certificate three in dietary practices, but pulled out because it was just unacceptable. You know, my teacher was obese. She was, she was virtually clueless. It was, it was terrible because, you know, even when people, even when classmates would ask her questions, she would often have to grab her textbook and look up the answers so often that it was just, it was just ridiculous. And then the answers were even more disappointing, you know, recommending that post heart attack op patients have processed meat, you know, even back then, because I'd already been studying nutrition, I, I knew that this was not right. And I didn't want a part of it. I was over it, but I finished the nutrition component of the course and I got out of there. I didn't want to spend my time memorizing misinformation because that's basically what you're doing. You're just chant learning and just repeating like a parrot. If it's misinformation, it is misinformation. So next up, I went to a naturopathic school in the city of Sydney and I went with my mum. Okay. So my mum can verify all of this. It was very, very disappointing. Okay. So when we walked in, all we saw was women, which was great. I love working with women, but they were all, they were ranging from obese to morbidly obese. And I was going there inquiring about a nutrition course. This was meant to be about nutrition. So clearly these women did not know about nutrition. Okay. Don't try and teach me nutrition. If you are obese or morbidly obese, it is not going to happen. Okay. So the actual like uh, director of the Institute, she was morbidly obese. And we just left there in disbelief. It was just like, even though we weren't vegan ourselves, we were like, this is not right. They are not treat. They are obviously not understanding nutrition. So that was super disappointing. So eventually I started and ran a successful personal training business for years. And I liked having the freedom of making my own dietary recommendations, even though I didn't understand completely at that point, what was optimal, but I did get accreditation in the following areas. So the haters can lap that one up because that is the truth. Okay. You know, they're going to spread a lot of lies about me, but your girl has the truth here. The only discrepancy here was where I said advanced nutrition after I initially said certification in nutrition, the areas of aerobic conditioning and resistance training was where I had advanced certification. But I mean, this is 11 years ago. So I think it's pretty fair to say that people can make mistakes, you know, when they're thinking back on the spot, obviously on national TV. So, I mean, it was, it was such a hard interview because they also, I was in a, a dark room. I didn't see and I could not see anyone. It was a pitch black, dark room. I had an earpiece and I could vaguely hear the interviewer. What I could hear a lot of was they were playing my videos in the background. It's like, but it was like into my earpiece. I'm not sure if it was on purpose or not to confuse me, but it was incredibly, incredibly um, disruptive to my thought patterns when I'm trying to recall information. They've just got my video playing in my ear. So you need to understand that there is more than meets the eye in these situations. So yes, as you can see, as I have explained, I have studied nutrition and fitness extensively. This course in particular took me around a year to complete. And although I was working at the same time, it was intense. It was actually a real, it was a lot to take in. But the fact is I don't actually use this nutritional information because it is so wrong. It is so industry funded. It's just not funny. And I'm going to go into more detail on these food lobbyists in a future video, but just remember that the results that you see that somebody is getting long-term and that they get for other people long-term, that is what matters. Not that piece of paper that they memorize, you know, like that information that they just chant learned that they memorize. That means nothing. Anyone can do that, but can they get the results? Is the person you're taking nutritional advice from, are they getting the results? Are they lean? Are they healthy? Are they fit? Do they have any blood tests online? Are they addicted to caffeine? I want to know. Let me know in the comments below if your, you know, health guru, nutrition guru is doing all those things because that is really important. Okay. Don't take advice from hucksters. Take advice from the people getting the long-term healthy results that you desire. All right, if you have any other series ideas, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next video.